I'll keep talking about the enormous scope of cybersecurity and all the lucrative job offers inside that. But I'll keep getting this one question and it's quite obvious. Why will you do a job? Apart from all the other reasons, there is one reason that stands first and that is money. And there is a lot of money in cybersecurity. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating, but many people won't believe me because they will expect black soft packages as a fresher. Everything takes time. And if you are consistent, if you have the right skill set, no one is stopping you from earning millions or even lakhs per month. So gear up for this video as I will be sharing the top five most popular job profiles in cybersecurity and what are their packages and salaries in India as well as abroad for freshers as well as experienced. So let's get started. First of all, this list is not in any order. These are the top five profiles that are trending right now and will only boom in the future. And also the figures I will tell you will be your fixed base pay. The concept of CTC involves a lot of stock holdings, other benefits in the number. So I'll be telling you just what you will get in your monthly paycheck, excluding taxes. Number one, penetration testers. These people are also called by the name of security analyst, security engineers based on the job profile and company. But to give you a clear idea, these people proactively identify threats and issues in an organization's critical infrastructure, both in their software and hardware products to let the owner know and fix the issues appropriately. And they are immensely important to any IT dependent business and companies are slowly realizing their worth and increasing their pay. But getting hired as a fresher here, it's a bit tricky because this is a skill heavy job. To talk about salaries in India as a fresher, you can get six to seven LPA in the starting. This will also include your training budget and other benefits. You can do any certification from a popular vendor such as Offensive Security, EC Council or SANS. And also you get chance to visit and attend offline conferences, namely Nelcon, uh, B-Sides, OWASP, even DEF CON and Black Hat. If you get some experience of two, three years, your salary can jump to 12 to 15 LPA. But if you keep working for five or more years, your salary may even go up to 25 to 30 LPA. If I talk about foreign countries, when you get paid in dollars, your salary can be 100K dollars per year when you start. And if you keep working for five plus years of experience, your salary can go to 160 to 180 K per year. These people are also called red teamers, by the way. Speaking of red teaming, these jobs are really very difficult because the people here are really not competent. And red teaming requires immense creativity and deep conceptual knowledge of the whole network stack. So learning pen testing is not very easy. But I can make you skillful enough with a guided course that can even give you a professional certificate from IIT Kanpur. I'm talking about Simply Learn's professional certificate program in cybersecurity, Red Teaming, in which you will be taught by expert faculties from IIT Kanpur. This program is an online bootcamp which runs for six months in which you will be taught by industry experts how to identify and analyze threats at scale and how to create strategies to secure systems through hands-on training in real-world cases. You will also get a chance to attend live sessions in latest AI trends and also generative AI and LLMs. This will teach you the most popular red teaming tools used and also help you to develop a hacker's mindset and also you can manage threats and overall security posture of an organization. At the end, you will be getting three industry projects where you will do real world vulnerability assessments on real world targets and which will help you to showcase your skill set to your future employers. And also not to forget, you will get a professional certificate from IIT Kanpur as well. Simply Learn also provides you job assistance so that you can land your dream job. The hiring network is right in front of you. Some big names you already thought of. So to be eligible for this program, you should have at least one bachelor's degree in a tech field. You should have basics of programming and cybersecurity skills and not required. But if you have one or two years of professional work experience, that will be better. Application is really very simple. Just go to the description, click on the link, review all the program details, click on apply now, and then it will ask you some details, fill all the details required and just submit and wait for the reward back. And believe me, there are not many good programs that will teach you so much in so less. So don't think twice, just get started. Number two, security analyst. These are the blue teamers. They are also called by the name SOC analyst, cybersecurity analyst, forensic analyst. And these people are constantly watching out for real time threats so that they can alert and prevent them from causing any harm. And they are the first line of defense of any InfoSec department. And this is the reason why they're required in any InfoSec department, even when they don't have proactive pen testers, they will definitely have blue teamers because they are the first one to be hired. They are defensive in nature. If I talk about salaries in India as a fresher, you can get five to seven LPA. For two to three years of experience, you can get 10 to 15 LPA. And for five plus years of experience, you can go up to 20 to 25 LPA. In US, these people are paid slightly less than the pen testers. They can start from 100K per year 
and they can go up to 150 to 170k in five plus years of experience. Number three, cyber security manager. They are in very high demand right now because organizations are investing huge money in security infrastructure because everyone knows how important is data today. Just like software development teams have project managers, we have security managers. So they decide the plan of action for IT issues and data breaches and they create policies for secure functioning of IT assets. And they also onboard and manage security projects and delegate them to the team members rightfully and help maintain the overall security posture. And of course, you cannot be had as a manager right away. You need to have at least five years of experience in a security domain and then you can be starting as a manager. For starting, of course, the salaries are very high. In India, these people start from 15 to 20 LPA and they can even go to 30 to 40 LPA if they keep working for four to five years and some people will even touch 50 LPA. In US, they start from 110 to 120K per year. For more experience of about five years, they can go to 200K as well. Number four, security auditor. It often gets overlooked by beginners because it doesn't appeal to them and doesn't fascinate them, but it is a very responsible job. And importantly, undoubtedly, it's very important in InfoSec department. We often need to comply to certain government regulatory policies when we deal with customer data or public data such as bank information, financial information, PII or health information. So we need to comply and follow certain standards. So all the infrastructure is regularly audited by these teams for compliance and they are also responsible for identification of risk and issues. They are also called risk managers, IT auditors or GRC. So they ultimately are responsible for managing risk and compliance. And of course here as well, you cannot join as a fresher. You need a responsible experience. But in India, when you start, you can get 10 to 15 LPA and then the growth is even better. So after three to four years, even you can go up to 25 to 30 LPA. In US, the median is 120 to 130K. And if you work for three to four years, you can even go up to 180K. Number five, CISO, Chief Information Security Officer. He is the backbone of the whole InfoSec department. You are in charge of the InfoSec. You are responsible for managing everything and governing everything to protect the IT infrastructure, keeping it in compliance and you manage all the security teams under you. So from auditing to budgeting to developing InfoSec policies to procurement, everything, it's a complete leadership role. It's an ultimate job where you will need to have at least 10 to 15 years of experience in security and also need to work as a manager for five plus years in managing a security team. The salaries are immense of course if you land it in india when they start they can easily get up to 30 to 40 lpa and they can even go to uh, 70 to 80 lpa if in some good companies and uh, also five plus years and in some top product based companies in india they can even touch 100 lpa that is one crore and in us it's even higher it starts from 300 to 350k and i'm not kidding but some offers may even go up to 1 million usd per year when you get experience for up to five years. So these are the top five cybersecurity profiles you can apply now and enjoy great packages and benefits. But again, I'm not raising you to cloud nine. These packages are really very subjective. They will depend on a lot of factors, including company, its size and location. I'm taking top MNCs at the reference. Number two, your education level. Number three, job roles and objectives. Number four, market condition. It's not good right now, of course, inflation and all. Number five, your performance. So make sure you do your research before applying and then you're good to go in your career. So I hope this video gave you a right idea about the benefits of a cybersecurity career and what domains to choose and how to proceed. So all the best for your career if you're planning for it. And I'll see you in the next video where I'll talk about another cybersecurity landscape. So keep watching, keep learning and goodbye.